Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We're coming to you today, Stefan's reviews and how to's. Today we're gonna look at the Abstract Ocean USB data interface. So this is a Tesla Model 3 2022 version and the center console right here doesn't come with uh, data. It doesn't push data through here. So we're gonna switch this. So let's do it unboxing first. Let's check this out. So in the box, you get the new module. It's all packaged very nicely. Now in this, this right here is the power and that's being pushed. But right here is a USB. Now inside, right in there, the cord, the cable is here for this. And there's a module that looks like this, except this part right here is blank. And so what we're gonna do is replace this whole module and um, go from there. Now let's see what else is in the box. In this box, we also have a couple of tools, a screwdriver, which we'll use. And this tool that we will use to pry open the center console. That sounds much worse than it really is. So let's put these, these things aside along with this foam. Put this right here in the cup holder. Now, I've already opened this up right here, so it's gonna come pretty easily this time. But when you do it for the first time, you might feel like you're gonna break it. So you, you hook it in right there, as you can see. You hook it right in there, and you pull out. And when you pull out, you have to pull pretty hard. And you again, you might feel like you're gonna break it, but I guarantee you, you won't. I don't guarantee you. But I didn't and neither has anyone else. So you'll go ahead and do that. And I'll show you some pictures of what it looks like on the inside. Now we will go ahead and using that screwdriver or the Allen wrench, remove a couple of screws. And I know you can't see it right now, but there's three screws. And we're going to go ahead and remove those. Before removing the screws, I tried to disconnect the power wire. The space inside the console was too tight for my hands. There wasn't enough space for me to get my fingers into a good position to lift the tab and pull it apart. The three screws were in an awkward position, so it took several minutes to remove them. And if you have a drill with this bit, that might be a little bit easier, but also it might be a little tight to get a drill in here. So this tool might be the, um, the best option. And I just dropped the screw. And I got it back. And there's a couple of more. Those screws are a real bugger. So I took delivery of this Tesla Model 3 long range in March of 2022, and I love it. To be honest, I was disappointed that due to the chip shortage that the USB ports in the center console didn't push data. I am pleasantly surprised that all the cabling to push that data is present and was easily accessible. I don't know about you, but I'm also glad that Tesla continued to sell these cars even without the data. That was a great choice. Not having that data was a small price to pay to get the car a little bit early. Something that might be good if you have a really small ratchet with, this, with a bit like this on it, um, that, would be, that would be helpful if you have something like that in your toolbox. But this does do the trick and I don't want to drop it. There we go. Number three. Let's go ahead and move that. Now you can see right there, this is what we need to remove. And there's a clip right here. So let's go ahead and see if that's all we got to do. The power cord was pretty straightforward, but it was a struggle. And it took a while to lift the plastic tab that finally released it. Yep, that's it. There we go. Now let's compare these. If you can see, this one's a Tesla one and this one's the new one. And show it down here as well. How about like that? It's kind of dim. We'll show it here too. See whichever one shows out the best, turns out the best. But, um, yeah, there we are. So, one is 
Tesla, which you can see there, and then the Abstract Ocean one. So now, time to get the wires ready. The two wires are taped together with green duct tape. I couldn't rip it off, so I grabbed the first knife I saw, which was a dinner steak knife. It did the job, but not the best choice of knives. Again, I'm amazed that the data cable was there. I didn't do a lot of planning, I just jumped into this job. Here I am trying to see how the module fits onto the panel. It was straightforward. There is one screw hole on one side and two screw holes on the other side. The module only fits on one way, so you can't mess it up. I spent extra time trying to figure out how it should fit. The wires in the center console are pretty short, so I was thinking, how do I get this put back together and attach the wires? After some thinking and judging the space, I finally decided to screw everything together and then attach the wires. Just like taking it apart, a tool of some sort would have been very helpful here too. The whole job took about 35 minutes, but in all honesty, it would have taken 10 if I'd staged the right tools and planned properly. Once I got everything put together, it took some time to position the module so that the wires could reach and be attached. The first time I attached the wires, the USB wire fell off because I didn't connect it correctly. The second time was a charm. Take your time here and test the data before reattaching it. The worst thing that can happen is that you reattach everything and you think everything's working well and then when you go to test it, uh, it's not working right, then you have to disassemble it. That'd be a big waste of time and it'd be pretty frustrating as you can imagine. Putting the panel back on is really straightforward. You just need to put the clips inside those little notches you see there and push hard and it will be done. There. And that completes the job. Well, that's Stefan's reviews and how-tos coming to you. I'm going to check it here in a moment. Actually, let's check it right now. I looked on the seat and I saw the USB hub just sitting there. I took it off earlier. So I, I go ahead and I attach it to the center console. And then I, I test to see if it has power. I turned on the light and voila, there's light. So now I can put in the USB 3 drive for the Model 3 that's used for sentry mode and, and all of that. And then the light turned on, the red light, and it worked. It was that easy. Again, I think this job would have taken 10 minutes if I had everything there. So here I am just quickly going through, seeing if it pulls up the videos, and, and it sure does. Well, that brings us to an end of this video. I hope it helps. And if you have a Tesla Model 3 that doesn't have data there, Abstract Ocean. They didn't sponsor this in any way. Everything that you heard are, are my words. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.